Here's eight behind the scenes facts about the 2006 film Rocky Balboa, starring Sylvester Stallone. The film was shot in 38 days, and surprisingly, the very first scene they shot was the fight between Dixon and Rocky. The reason is because Stallone had undergone intense training for six months to get his body into shape for the fight. And since he was also directing the movie, it would have been impossible for him to maintain his physique if they had filmed the fight later on in the schedule. The final fight was filmed first, but Stallone intentionally saved Rocky's sprint up the art museum steps for last, because he knew it would be an emotional experience for him to shoot, because of the iconic nature of the scene. And since this was almost 10 years before the Creed series came around, Stallone felt that saving this scene for last was the perfect way for him to say goodbye to the character. It wouldn't be a Rocky movie without a training montage. And for Rocky Balboa, all of the training scenes in the gym had to be shot in one day over the course of 17 hours. Filming a training montage for that long meant that Stallone had to do a lot of reps. So many that he said he couldn't walk the next day. Even though Adrian was dead in this movie, she was actually going to be alive in the first few drafts of the script. In the beginning, the story revolved around Rocky running a local gym, and his son would be in the military. But Stallone felt that the story needed more emotional weight to it. So he and Talia Shire came to an agreement that Adrian should be dead, because this would create an emotional chasm for Rocky that would add the right amount of weight to the story. And Shire made a public statement supporting the choice to kill off her character, in order to avoid any controversy about the decision. In Rocky V, Stallone cast his real son Sage to play Rocky Jr., and he considered having Sage reprise the role again for Rocky Balboa. But ultimately, Stallone decided against it, because he feared people would read too much into Rocky and Robert's estranged relationship, thinking that it was a reflection of Sage and Stallone's real life. Besides Rocky, several other characters and their original actors returned to be in Rocky Balboa like Burt Young as Polly, Tony Burton as Duke, and Pedro Lavelle as Spider Rico. But there are two more returning characters that are easy to miss, which are the Turtles Cuff and Link, that Stallone took home as pets after filming the first movie. During pre-production, the filmmakers had constant problems trying to find a good location to shoot the big fight. But they eventually came up with the idea to get permission to piggyback off of an upcoming HBO pay-per-view match at the Mandalay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, which would give them access to everything they needed to create a fight night atmosphere, such as a real press conference setup and an arena already packed with thousands of cheering fans. And the funny thing is that the filmmakers said Rocky's fight got a bigger reaction out of the crowd than the real fight. The fight between Rocky and Dixon was arguably the most realistic in the whole Rocky franchise, because Stallone and Antonio Tarver landed every punch throughout the whole fight. For example, when Rocky is hit across his temple and knocked down, Stallone revealed that his reaction was completely real, because Tarver really did knock him down and stunned him so bad that it took him a while to get up and regain consciousness. Click a video on the screen for more great content right here on Fun Fact Films.